When Ed Sheeran wrote the song Shape of You, I'm sure he wasn't thinking of scutoids, but now that's all I'm ever going to be able to think about when I hear that song. And now so will you. You're welcome. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Stemulus. I'm Steph Evs, and here's what happened this week in STEM. You may think you know every shape there is and could totally smash one of those shape block thingies we played with as kids, but according to scientists, that may not be the case. Meet the scutoid, the latest shape that was discovered while studying epithelial cells or skin cells. These cells serve as the building blocks from which animals, including us, are formed. So why did these cells have to go and make brand new shapes? Were cylinders not good enough for you? Actually, no, they weren't. Scientists believe that this shape has the properties it does because it's the most efficient way to pack lots of them together very tightly to form a barrier and communicate with each other, which is exactly what you'd want in cells making up tissue like ours. When we're in our embryo phase, our organs and skin need to be able to grow and curve and flex to match our growth. At first, scientists believe that the best shape for this kind of cell would be prism-shaped or like a truncated pyramid, but after running it through a computer model, they came to the conclusion that the scutoid, a twisted prism, is actually the way to go. The computer model took into account that the surfaces of the cells would need to stay in contact with each other in both flat and curved layers, and the most efficient way to do this is with a prism-like shape with six sides on one end, five sides on the other, and a triangular face along one of the edges of the prism. To confirm their findings, scientists used microscopy and computer imaging to take a look at the cells found in fruit fly salivary glands and zebrafish cells, and what they found was yes, the scutoid was the shape that appeared. They ultimately decided to name it after the part of the beetle known as the scutellum, a part of the thorax that resembles the scutoid when viewed from the top down. So what's next for the scutoid? Well, the team that discovered it wants to continue studying the epithelial cells to determine what molecules cause the cells to adopt their unique shape. In addition, they think the scutoid could have applications in a variety variety of scientific fields, such as medical biology. Their unique structure and ability to be packed closely together during development could make them ideal for growing artificial organs that would maintain their structural stability when the tissue is bent or twisted, and the team is confident that there's even more that they can learn from this new shape. So that brings us to our question of the day. Now that you've got one more shape to work with, what would you say is the shape you deal with or see the most in your day-to-day -day life? Let me know in the comments section down below. As always, if you want to check out this story a little bit more in depth, I will include links to my sources is down below along with links to all of my social media and my Patreon page, so feel free to check that out in your free time. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please feel free to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of my future STEM related content. If you see any cool current STEM related news stories throughout the week, please feel free to send me a link on the Stimulus Facebook page or on Twitter at, at the Stimulus using the hashtag Twistem and they just might make it into an episode. But with that, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week, stay well, stay awesome, and I will see you next time.